I was also asking my friend, uh, how, how do you know when to be content with what you have in life versus to push for more? And I think that we're always going to push for more, but we should appreciate the things that we have. And it's interesting how if, if I talk to some of my friends and then I was asking one of my friends, oh, you know, well, what would you want to do if you knew you couldn't fail in life? And he didn't necessarily know. And he has a business. He, he does like Amazon FBA. And it just wasn't working out for him at the time. And then he had to go back to software. And then I just said, you know, uh, 2023, imagine if your business skyrockets in 2023. And I'm pretty sure it will because he's a smart guy. Um, I'm pretty optimistic even though there's doom and gloom in the economy that um, you control your fate more than those external sources. Um, imagine if, uh, you know, he gets promoted at his, com at his company and that's like two, two sources of income. So I was just more trying to, uh, to prop him up and say, yeah, you know, you're, you're thinking that you're not in a good position, but your company slowing down allowed you to move in to another area and it's a new opportunity and he's double downing right now and i respect him a lot and i, I trust him a lot I, I talk to him a lot about like deep stuff we went out for dim sum last night or we went out for lunch dim sum and then we went to boba tea shop and I, we didn't leave until like six that night and i didn't expect to be there that long but i I haven't seen him in over a year, so I always have good, deep conversations when I talk to him. And he, he's my brother. I consider him my brother, uh, where we'll be super close, and I, I could talk to him about anything. I was talking to him about um, the Power Ranger, Tommy, the, the guy that just died. And it's a shame that, you know, man, man, we're, we're taught to be strong. We're not taught to complain. We're not taught to to display weakness, and I don't think that if a person admits that they have problems, that they will be supported. But I could be wrong, and you can respect me for for telling you what's wrong with me, my weaknesses. But it will make me look weak, or maybe you would have a bad feeling about it. But these are just assumptions that I have, their insecurities that I have, and. Uh, be my, by me admitting these things that I will show strength because it shows that I'm aware. It shows that I don't care if you judge me because you would judge me regardless on whatever, you know, my height, my car, whatever, my culture, my skin, the way I talk. And that's more about uh, people don't have time to judge other people essentially because you, you would have to spend that time improving yourself and it's important for, for you and not everybody wants to improve. Some people are content with being who they are and it takes time to, to get ready. Some people don't get ready until it's over and I for sure don't want to be one of those people. But I, I'm pretty quiet in general and, and I was also doing some research on like genetics tests and I was curious because I'm curious about my background in terms of like where I came from, my family lineage, my genetic factor. I'm also curious on, you know, health concerns or um, certain, you know, nutritional stats that maybe I, I could improve that I don't know about. Um, I think there's like five or six and they also have a genetics test for cats too, that if you're a cat person, you, you could do it for your cat. We were, we were also talking about Pat's where, uh, cause he, his, his mission goal that he said was, uh, I want to volunteer for a shelter and I want to make sure that those pets are taken care of. But I said, that uh, why don't you figure out a solution of how you can bring awareness to, you know, pets that need adoption and pets that need to be taken care of. And why don't you build an army of people? a support system on social media um, and try and change the world versus just being at one location and 
he he kind of got the picture but he he just said you know what he has going on right now in his life that he's he's busy um doing other things um it's interesting how when when i told him about when i went to nursing school so i was working for a software company i wasn't feeling it i went to nursing school i said it was a mistake it was a bad decision everything was stripped away from me my title who i was because who, who what you do in this country is pretty much who you are it's not like that in other cultures though and i wasn't make i wasn't making money although i saved up a lot of money at the time all of my tuition i paid cash and everything was stripped away from me my relationship at the time and i wasn't living with family at the time and it allowed me to focus on myself and, and to reflect on the things that I really wanted in life. It made me reflect on where I want to go. And for sure, if you're not doing something that you're passionate about, something that you love, that you will never be the best and you will never be happy, I think, in my opinion. I'm speaking for me. Maybe you can be happy with, you know, well, whatever is going on in your life that I don't know about because everybody comes from a, a different past and for sure I'll be happy if you didn't have my past and I'll be happy if you didn't have my problems and I, I I need to figure out like how, how do I help people like me that that grew up like me that, that have similar problems and how, how can I help them if they want it because if, if they don't want it then they're not going to do it uh, how, how can I inspire somebody? How can I motivate them to to be a better version of themselves? And I think that if I become a better version of myself, that I can be an example over just talking about something. Because also another thing is I'm better at giving advice than following it. And, and I think that's the case with a lot of other people. That we, we could give advice so well. It's like... If, uh, if I was talking to one of my friends about his relationship and if, if this chick was stepping out of line, I, I, I would just be like, she, she got to go, bro. <laughs> but I, I don't have any, any like emotional attachments to that, that girl. So that, that's why it's easy for me to say, but when, when you're inside and your feelings are, you know, they're, they're wrapped up that nobody's perfect and you know, you, you would love these people for, for who they are. For example, my, my mother, my father, my brother. There's a lot of things that I don't like about them. But that doesn't change the fact that I, I, would, I still love them and I would still help them if I could help them. And same thing with uh, certain relationships is you would have to figure out, you know, it's a trade-off. that You're, you're going to give something up to, to get something and... It depends. It, it really, really depends. And, and I was also looking up, uh, like, what's the difference between, like, infatuation versus to, to love somebody. And, and to love somebody, it's it's selfless, right? It's like you, you would be giving to them and, and you would love them unconditionally without any strings attached versus if you're infatuated with them. That it's, uh, it's like the honeymoon phase where you... You have super strong feelings for them and, and you don't see like their negatives and you always want to be around them and I I could move fast and, and I'm pretty intense as a person and when when I saw my friend yesterday he was asking me about my mother and, and I was just like I was super excited about it and I was talking really fast to him and then he he was like whoa 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 slow down slow down uh can, can you talk to me in a slower, more granular level? And th this is one of my problems where I try to rush it because maybe I'm insecure and I'm trying to fill in the gaps. I'm trying to control the, the conversation. And maybe it's because I, I want to talk fast so that I don't forget certain details. But it's something that I need to work on. And even when I replay these videos when I listen to them sometimes I play them on one and a half you know 1.6 also audio audible books when I'm familiar with the book I'll play it on like double speed sometimes I'll do triple so that I can listen to a book 
before I do something, gotta learn about it.